Well, beer, gosh, you really darn ready because it's fun facts with Discord number 27. Mm-hmm. What the frick voice was that? The sandbox tree, also known as the dynamite tree, is covered in spikes full of poison and grows exploding fruit. I want, I want to touch it. Dark Dungeons is a movie based on the chick track about how playing D&D can turn someone into a cultist? Question mark? Jack Chick himself actually gave the makers the approval to make the movie from his track. Ironically, the movie itself is a parody and contains a lot of memes. Now, if you don't have the time to watch the full movie, luckily, Mr. John Tron actually did a review on it a couple of years ago. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. But so bad it's good. The reason dogs love their squeaky toys so much is because the sound reminds them of a tiny animal being killed. Oh. A child plagiarized a story from a well-known Destiny's Lore website, the Ishtar Collective, for his English homework. The teacher noticed it and contacted the website's Twitter account that temporarily changed their name to the boy's name. (coughs) You cheated not only the game, but yourself. You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took a shortcut and gained nothing. You experienced a hollow victory. Nothing was risked, and nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. In the game Skyrim, if you somehow kill Sissel or Brit, like mods or whatever, their father will send you a thank you note for killing them? That's because the game will always have a letter sent to you to whoever that person hates is killed. In the creation kit, you'll see that Lenkil, the father's, relationship to his two daughters is a negative one. And these are the only two he hate in town. Well, that being the case, I almost kind of want to find Lenkil and kill him too in the game, if that's how he feels about his daughters. In Life of Brian, the scene where Pontius asked what's funny about Biggest Dickus, the extras were told that they wouldn't get paid if they laughed. All the laughing you hear in that scene is genuine. It's a risky move, but it was Worth it. Awesome. Biggest dick. <laughs> One of the most widely used and abused drugs in global circulation is a natural pesticide and is often self-described necessary and beneficial effects. It is used by almost all age groups across all wage gaps, across all race, creed, sexes, and orientation. And you probably have it in your home right now. This drug is caffeine. Bill! Bill, 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 I don't, I, I don't appreciate this call-out post right now. How dare you? No, 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 no. Stop it. I might have already talked about this one, but I don't care because it's still cool. Mantis shrimp have almost four times as many color-detecting sensors in their eyes as humans and are able to see colors of light on the spectrum into infrared and ultraviolet. Hey, Google, how do I surgically replace my eyeballs with mantis shrimp eyeballs? playing mantis shrimp videos on YouTube. That's not what I asked. A rodent that was believed to be extinct for 113 years casually showed up on the handrail at the front porch of an eco-lodge in Colombia and let researchers photograph it for two hours before disappearing into the night, after which it was never seen again. It's called the red-crested tree rat. Oh, look at it. It's adorable. The South Park song Kyle's mom is a... This skit has essentially killed off the use of Kyle as a baby's name in the U.S. In 1998, the year before the South Park movie came out, Kyle was the number 24 baby name, having held steadily for the previous 15 years at around 18 to 29. By 2000, it had dropped to 37, and as of 2019, it is number 283. (sighs) Thanks, Cartman. And a ding-dang final day. Keurig coffee maker and co-inventor John Sylvan went to the ER reporting tunnel vision and heart palpitations. Oh no. After a few tests, the doctors had no clue, so they asked questions like, how much coffee do you drink? To which John replied, 30 or 40 cups a day. The diagnosis was caffeine poisoning. Dude just wanted to feel the color purple. I don't blame him. 